What's up, Scrappers? Welcome to Old School Retool. Uh, we are going to start out by getting this uh, stand wire brushed off. I'm probably going to use my cut brush on it. Let's get that bad boy down now. Right there. Let's see what we can do on that. I decided I'm going to clean this in place and just give it a nice... You know, it's a nice light sanding, maybe. I don't know. I don't even know if I really... Excuse me. Whew. Oh, man. If I really don't want to mess with it. That's... <coughs> Sorry. Whew. I was dusty or something got in my nostrils. Um, spring's going to go into vapor rust. Uh, probably a little light more sanding. Just in the vapor rust. Those in your vapor rust. And uh, we're going to get it started. So uh, sit tight, enjoy the show. Okay, folks, we're back. Actually, back from that long break. Because that uh, first portion of that video with uh, talking about what I'm going to do with all the stuff is uh, that was last week. I put that right up after the Harbor Freight video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not, then you've probably heard this before or know what I'm going to say. Uh, we talk about everything scrap metal, scrapping, scrap prices, old tools. I try tool restorations, and if you've watched the first old school retool, that, yeah, that basket case, anyway, we're, this, this will be a redemption. Uh, anyways, uh, we do DIY projects, like I built this little thing. Uh, creator challenges, uh, my first one, actually, but many more, I hope. Um, that's it, and, uh... So anyway, this is, we're going to get this into the vapor rust. I'm going to get my cut brush on here. Get that going, the big spring. This I might just keep with the wire wheel. But this definitely has got to go in the vapor rust. This is going to go in there. All right, so we're going to get started. Check this out. My, uh, can you see me? I hope this doesn't turn it upside down. But... I got a game changer little camera stand here. My uh, one of my buddies threw in the back of my truck, so you're gonna get a bird's eye view. And hopefully, this will help out with my um, my video stuff because I've had some comments in the past about the camera being shaky, about me talking too much. Um, I don't know. I mean, some of them. You know, I'll share them with you guys. Some of them doesn't really make a difference. Kick this a little this way to get it in there. there we go. Let me put this under something. Oh, the big spring. Oh, you know what? I can't. I'm going to have to just go with... Try that. There we go. It doesn't got to be totally in there. Oh, wait a minute. Come on, Chris. Use your space. Oh, that's right. Y'all know my name. Um, My name... Well, I got my YouTube name. CC Scraps. My name is Christopher Cicerelli. Yeah, I'm an Italian. So CC, it's backwards. Oops. CC and then Scraps, because I was a scrapper and now well, I still like to scrap. That's how it got started. Um, but other than that, that's the way it goes. Actually, you know what? Screw it. It's all going in here. This is a better idea. That way everything's in, in and I can kind of kick this on its side. And get it. There we go. There you go, Chris. Show the people of the world that you kind of know what the hell you're doing, maybe. This is turning into a comedy act, huh? <laughs> Ooh, and it's cold. Actually, it's probably what's it today? It's like 46 out. So that's not awful for this time of year in Syracuse, New York. Anybody that lives in upstate. Or in the northeast, the Atlantic Northeast, isn't that what it's called? Oh, there we go. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, the spring, Chris, the spring. Let's get the spring in here, too. I'm going to just kind of bend him around. I, hope for the best. I should have got two of these things of vapor. I hope this thing doesn't go flying, but it shouldn't. It's pretty solid in there. All right. Whew, that's cold. This is my towel. Got a shop towel laying around. Got to get these washed up for the season. Um, but hopefully you guys like this new angle. I'm going to keep trying to work with it. This thing doesn't hold my phone like I'd like it to. 
but all right so check this out we're gonna do a quick thing I picked up here picked up this cotton mat on Amazon it's good to have I may be using it I like it um, I feel it's gonna help me with certain angles that I want to try cutting I think if it works for fabric maybe it'll work for metal I don't know we're gonna try it I'm all new to it my wife bought me a little one um, I'm gonna figure out something to do with that check it out we were at this true value store there's the uh, stuff in the vaporized um, I bought this hammer man in the little cheap tool bin it's a little tiny sledgehammer it was six bucks like are you kidding me I had to have it so that makes hammer number th uh, I think 38 want to count them yeah that's 38 uh, and this will be 39 when I figure something out with that but that was cool six dollars ace true value Nottingham Plaza Syracuse New York what and the only people around here that have decent hammer handles too so yeah think about that Lowe's and Home Depot even Harbor Freight why don't y'all sell handles I'd be one of your best customers man I got put handles on everything one there that axe is broken but I want to you know what I mean like I could probably eh, handles all right for now I don't know if I'm me talking. All right, I'm gonna get this going here. My cutoff wheel or my cup brush, sit tight. Gonna get on the PPE, y'all. Forget that. the wire wheel I'm sure I can record here this thing up and out of the way I gotta find a better system for this but once I get my drill press back my other one we're gonna be in business Here we go. This is the post wire brush. Um, just got that other one in the Evaporust because it's 
Um, you know, I don't... I really... Oh, man, you know, I don't even know if I want to paint this thing. Like, look, like... This needs to be cleaned, but... I mean, I don't really want to... I don't know if I want to paint it. It's crazy, right? But yeah, it's nuts. There's the press stand. And I threw this whole trailer hitch in here too, if y'all can see that. But I want to just, you know, we're going to soak this a little bit. Probably overnight. And then come back to it. Or maybe I will paint it, but I don't know if I want to kind of leave this little pitting. Or I don't know. I'm still torn on what I want to do. That's the beauty, I guess, about restoring things. That you can kind of take it as far as you want, right? Isn't that how it works? What the heck? Uh-oh. Looks like we got us a visitor in the workshop. Whose feet are those, guy? Say hi, baby. You want to come on in? No girls allowed? Huh? Hi. Hi. Hang on. Also, it's all out of the vapor rust. I only had it in for a few hours. Um, there's the stand. It's going to need some acetone and some degreaser. But I got bulk of the stuff off. Spring turned out pretty good. The little wires. Or the wires. Jesus. The wing nuts. The little, it's the little bolt for the, the back of the stand here. Like I said in the last video, that little brass piece goes in this hole here. For when that tightens down, it doesn't wreck your guide. Nice, right? Uh, again, let's talk about the badging. Oh, it already broke. And then over here, I got the handle and the little chuck waiting to go. That handle had actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's put that with this so we don't misplace everything. I'm gonna put like a like a motorcycle grip on here or a nice little old school like BMX bike grip probably. That's the that's the mechanism. Or I'm sorry, the mech the handle for the drill. I'm gonna do the same thing here with a handle. It's gonna look sweet when I get done with it. But yeah, that's everything. That's gonna wrap it up. Episode What is it? Episode three? Yeah, episode three. Part 3, Old School Retool. This is the gross cleanup of the debris and the vapor rust outcome. I think I am going to paint it. I really am a fan of that. There's like that gray on here. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. But it's like a battleship gray, but it's pretty smooth. So, anyway. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. CC Scratch, y'all have a great weekend. Peace.